Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at treehugger.com with an article from Derek Markham. Eight natural and homemade insecticides to save your garden without killing the earth. Now, these are homemade, and uh, there's even a couple I haven't heard of. First off, though, you really need to test these on your garden before you apply it to your entire field. Because some plants are more resistant to certain pesticides than others. So when you make up these batch, make a small batch and try it on just a couple of leaves or maybe a couple of plants. And then come back the next day, check for signs of burning, rotting, wilting, or just complete plant death. That'll be pretty obvious. And of course, you want to don't want to uh, put pesticides indiscriminately over everything. It could kill beneficial soil microbes or beneficial insects as well. So use them sparingly. So on to some of the recipes here. They have an oil spray using just oil and water. Of course, you need to mix it up with a little bit of soap, which is used as a wetting agent. It breaks uh, or increases the surface tension of the water and allows uh, the it to really stick to the plant. Anything you put in there, put a little bit of natural soap. They also have oil soap um, and or just a soap on its own with water. Neem oil which is extracted from neem seeds. It can really, it's good for fungal growth, bugs, insects, all sorts of stuff. They talk about diatomaceous earth, which is diatomes that you just sprinkle around the base of the plant and literally sucks the moisture out of the exoskeletons of bugs. Garlic insecticidal spray using garlic, chili pepper as well, or an all-in-one using garlic, onion, chili pepper, and some liquid soap. Combine it all up there, let it steep for a little while. And this last one I never heard about is tomato leaves. Just chopping up some tomato leaves, putting it in some water, letting it sit overnight, and straining it out. Tomato leaves are a nightshade and contain alkaloids, I believe, and can be harmful to many pests. Well, you know, that's it for this article. If you want to read more about it, follow the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.